Seventeen-year-old student Rinesh Radhakrishnan was diagnosed with leukemia in 2020. His illness left him wheelchair-bound. He also needed extensive assistance to move around. But in the last five months, a robot called EXO, a wearable robotic exoskeleton suit, has helped him to regain strength in his legs. You have to really use your leg strength. Mobility-wise, you have to walk more and know your balance, uh, like, uh, left or right. And there'll be a sound to indicate when you're off track. Yeah. It helps me with much more than normal physio, like one-to-one. -one. The machine is much more helpful. Mm. And I'm quite happy to share that uh, today, uh, uh, Rinesh can actually walk with the walking frame 10 meters with the father in his own home. Uh, and this has uh, really greatly reduced the burden of care for the father who used to have to assist him in terms of transfer uh, and now he can actually uh, do it on his own. More patients like Rinesh will soon be able to get access to robotic technologies to recover, as Tan Tok Singh Hospital's Clinic for Advanced Rehabilitation Therapeutics, or CART, reopened on Monday, April 18th, with expanded clinical services. The clinic is now four times bigger, housing more state-of-the-art rehabilitative robots and a bigger gym. It can serve a wider range of patients, including amputees and those with neurogenerative diseases. This is Mr. Barr, or the Mobile Robotic Aided Balance Assistant. It's a robotic wheelchair that prevents falls for patients who have difficulty walking or balancing. They can use it to test their balance or do sports, and it is currently being trialled at Yishun Community Hospital. Other robotic technologies involve playing games with a joystick, which help rehabilitation exercises become more engaging and less repetitive. Speaking at the reopening of the clinic, Health Minister Ong Yi Kang says it will allow quicker access to outpatient rehabilitation services. With a rapidly aging population and higher prevalence of chronic diseases, demand for rehab services will grow. Rehab must be made accessible to a wider range of patients, especially the elderly who can become frail after acute illnesses. Through community partnership, we can shift the care models to make rehab more accessible to patients. And it's critically important that this is not just available in hospitals, it needs to be available in community. To do this, the clinic also signed two partnerships with medical technology firm Foria Intelligence and Stroke Support Station. To come up with devices that are more portable, user-friendly, so they can be used at homes and in the community. So the patients can continue to even have their own rehabilitation at home instead of coming to a healthcare setting itself. For Rinesh, his next goal is to accelerate his recovery timeline. My goal is to slowly move on to a stick and then hands-free and then can walk normally. Uh. That's my goal. Uh. I mean, aim high. Uh. In this year, I'm going fast. I give myself uh, one more six months, maybe. An estimated 30,000 patients are expected to benefit every year at CART from 2023 till 2030.